is remove some of this material here so that the collar will sit on there quite nicely. So I think I'm going to have a go at this with the, um, the rough rasp and see how we go on. I might need to put the Fordham on it. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the Fordham. You can use this big uh, cylinder, I think. To mate up the um, the shank and the head, see how close we are with the material we've removed off. We can see whether we've got any high spots. And there are some high spots. We're almost there. Just a bit more uh, wiggling one minute. Right, so you can see that we've now managed to get this collar on. I will just show you what it looks like without the collar so you understand what we're doing. So 
that's what we're doing. We're creating a space for the collar so that once the collar's on, should get a nice smooth transition without any uh, steps. There is a slight step there, but that's because, as I say, this material, this hazel, is not round, it's slightly elliptical. So, what we're going to do now, you know, I've just put a bit more tape on this, um, this handle, on this peg. I want that nice and tight in there if I can. And this is where the sacrificial element of uh, this collar comes in. We can now work up to that collar, work onto it, and we're not damaging anything important. So that's the next thing to do now. I don't want to use this rasp on um, uh, the neck, it's going to tear the timber up too much. So I might just use this fine uh, forward. And so we're just rounding everything off now. And again, we should be wearing the mask, <laughs> but for the purposes of this video, I'm not doing. Taking most of the bulk off with the Fordham, we're going to finish off with a file. It's a, quite a fine file. Can work right onto the uh, collar. We're not worried about damaging it or scratching it. There's still a lot of work to be done on this head, a lot of filing and sanding. Um, we're only taking you through the basic steps here and uh, rushing it a bit as well. Because I know these videos can be pretty long 
and uh, I do take bits out where you don't really need to be sat through a lot of uh, filing. So while we're doing this we want to make sure that this heel here is the same shape on both sides, the radius is the shape the same. Keep feeling with your fingers where the step is. So that's not too bad. I'm going to do a bit of work on the inside here. Probably do with a, a round file here. And while you're filing all this off, it'd be nice to try and take the squareness out of this part of the uh, the head where you transition transition from the neck to the crown. You can see why I've got the tape on. That head does move around quite a bit. Um, if you can keep it steady while you're doing this, it'll help. You probably want some more tape in there. So there we are. Still wants a wee bit taking off. Obviously uh, this collar is a touch thinner than the other one. But that's the basic idea. Um, once we've got everything sanded down to our satisfaction, you can then glue this. And well actually before we glue that, it's, we, we might as well cut the notch in here. And we haven't got all this uh, stick hanging about in the vise. So the next job before we do that is to uh, create a dog and once we've got the dog in the base we can uh, create a notch to suit. Thank you very much, we'll see you again.